Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop effect series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I was able to create this effect from turning this picture in from this to this dual light effect in Photoshop. So right, if you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium Asset, now is the right time to check it out and get it. You don't know how much you're missing if you don't have this design asset at your disposal, right? Having said that, if you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button. It's not after this video, now is the best time. Hit subscribe button and uh, turn on post notification. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is click on File, click on New. I'm just going to impute the name here. So I'm just going to put dual light effects. Yeah, so it's dual light effects like this and click on create like this, right? So I'm um, taking note of these two colors. The first one, this is the color code. And um, also the second one, this is the color code, right? So you can just click OK like this. This is the two colors we're going to be working with basically. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, the resource file to this video is in the description of this video. So you can use this or you can use any of the pictures inside this Smart Designer Premium Access PNG files, right? To for this exercise, but I will use this one for this exercise. Now you have this beautiful model inside here. So I'm just going to position her well. Um, Ctrl T to activate the free transform and I'm just going to position them well like this. Okay, when you're done, click enter and um create a new layer and bring it beneath her like this go to solid color no oh, i'm using gradient instead oh let me see okay um i'm using solid color so i'm going to sample a color here but not necessarily just use black color like this it doesn't have to be the color from the hair right so i'm just going to use this and click ok right easy peasy and no stress go back there and select a black and white make sure it's directly above the image and i'm going to use these settings i'm going to reduce the reds make sure you're not doing too much so your results i'm just going to do it to a level where it has a good contrast all right so i think i'm going to just go up a bit i'm okay with this i love this contrast move it up a bit to position this well okay great so um the next thing i'm going to do is quick clipping mask so it's affecting only the image and not the entire layers. Directly on top of this, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to go and click on gradients and I'm just going to select this. That's why I said you should make your foreground and background color this color. So click on angle, rotate the angle. So you have it linear like this, this way. And um, you can adjust it with uh, you can do it manually by just um, clicking. But I'm going to click on reverse, and now uh, I can. Um, you can see I'm adjusting this manually, right? So just make sure it's balanced, red and blue, just like this. All right, great. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to hue and saturation, and um, I'm going to click on colorize and uh, you see it's affecting the whole layer so make sure you um, keep it to the rest of the things you have so right click create clipping mask so it's affecting only the image so with this bump up the saturation i can see because we're on colorized we're on blue you can see that it's only affecting the blue so you can invert it and uh, ctrl i to invert ctrl i to invert click the brush make sure you're using a soft brush right and when you do that make sure you only paint on areas that you want to see i will reduce my flow because i have on like i understand that i tend to work best with when my flow is at 50 so that when i want to go intense i can double press or, or yes you get what i'm trying to say so i'm going to be working on 50 and 60 for my brush flow right so create another layer again here's saturation create a clipping mask like this this time click on colorize i'm going to use red so it's at red already so i'm going to saturation 100 so it's at red All right exactly where it should be so i'm going to invert this again click on this part here ctrl i to invert and i'm just going to paint on areas where i need 
that red to be like this right on the outer part here is going to be intense but inside here is going to be less intense right so you can see we have a nice blend of red and blue right to make things sweeter you can reduce um, the background like this or you can leave it the way it is or better still create exposure like this and um, reduce the exposure just this way right make sure it's not too much so you want to reduce the exposure so it's not too much create a new layer here and painting on that blue like this uh, move it up on top of the exposure so we want the red to be lesser and the blue to um, be more pronounced like this right so you can change this one this is a bit so it's not too much i think somewhere around here is cool and nice good to go right so um you can double click on this to bring this out like this and um this is what you have so you can change the value of this red here you can move it downwards right have it something like this this is too much this isn't working this isn't working either and um, just get the red that blends well with the image itself like this and click ok click ok when you're done and ok for everything you can see that you have a nice blend of red and blue just the way it is right so that's a, that couple of things we're going to do to spicing this up a bit so the image is not entirely flat like you can see now the edges so hold down control and click on the image click on mask to mask it out sorry i'm supposed to be clicking on the image click on mask to mask that part out go to filter and um, go to other minimum and um, you don't want to do too much so just somewhere around here is good so so you have a smooth edge you don't have those fringes along the edges so somewhere around here is good so you don't um, destroy the um, general outlook of the image so this is going to remain like this you can see we're almost halfway done for this change the blend mode to screen and um, reduce this just a bit so it doesn't take the attention off the image itself right so what you want to do next is um, let me adjust this I'm just going to go up, copy my settings, so it's a little bit darker, like this. Okay, so basically when you're done, um, create a new layer. So for this layer, what you want to do is um, two layers, in fact. Go to your brush with your blue, um, I'm going to increase my flow to 100. With the blue selected, I'm going to put a light here and change this to screen and selecting this layer i'm going to revert to red so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this um no ctrl z i'm just going to press ctrl z i'm supposed to use red on that part so i'm just going to click on um brush click on this arrow make sure red is the foreground color so click once and change it to what screen so what you're going to do now is um select the two of them ctrl g to group them and reduce the opacity like this so the effect is not too much yeah it's not too much okay create a new layer right um start with the blue add some blue here change this to linear dodge add and um reduce the opacity just like this and um, of course create a new layer again this time we're making this yes you guess right red so flip it and click the red here and change the blend mode to linear dodge add then what you should do next is group them and click on soft lights or let's see okay lighter color and reduce it like this you can see that this little little changes makes a whole lot of difference right because most times i try to see people doing uh, do i like effects and it's just well there's so many ways you can do this but this is how i would do my dry light effects and um yes for this 
so i'm just going to bring this inside here like this and of course make it bigger click enter this is like um, a noise effect set it to screen yes set it to screen and i'm just going to use the opacity here like this to the barest minimum so this gives it that look that i want right so i'm just going to mask this out and um i'm going to use my brush to conceal areas that i don't want this effect to be right like this just like this okay great reduce like this increase just slightly till you get the level you want to be yeah okay great okay so uh, here what you want to do is create brightness and contrast so i'm just going to add some contrast to this to make the image pop more just like this so this is one of the secrets to making your images pop adding contrast and um, of course you want to reduce the brightness just a bit and voila there you go this is how i created this dual light effect before and after in photoshop right so if you've liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um so that youtube would recommend to other designers like you other photographers like you don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notification i will see you in the next video just up here love you all